Just over an hour ago, our governor issued a state of emergency in advance of the storm. Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanemich is joining us now in the studio. So Jeff, where's this thing headed? It looks like it's going to parallel the Florida and Georgia coastline and then could potentially make landfall somewhere between Myrtle Beach and the Outer Banks, say on Thursday and or Friday. Uh, it, it's very important to note that more than 3 million people are now under mandatory evacuations. Over 10 million people have either tropical watches or warnings in effect. And by the way, the Orlando airport will close at 2 a.m. And also the Fort Lauderdale airport is closed until further notice. We're tracking Dorian. Notice the outer rain bands hitting Florida, but without question, the worst of the weather staying offshore. The Bahamas have been hit so hard with a storm here over the last 24 to 48 hours. Tracking Dorian alongside you winds right now of 145 gusts up to 170. It's stationary, although there are indications that it is starting to make that turn to the north, and that's good for the island for the peninsula of Florida. Looks like it's going to kind of parallel. Florida and Georgia and then will make its way towards the Carolina coastline here as we head into Thursday and Friday again could potentially make landfall near Myrtle Beach as a category two hurricane Thursday around two. If it doesn't do that, then it could potentially make a landfall as a strong cat one or a weak cat two somewhere along the Outer Banks Thursday night or Friday morning before it then goes back out to sea. For us here, our forecast is completely dependent upon the track of Dorian late Thursday, Thursday night into Friday morning. Simply put, the farther north and west goes, the more of an impact it's going Going to have for us. We do have hurricane warnings from West Palm Beach north into Jacksonville. We have hurricane watches from Jacksonville north to the South Santee River of South Carolina. This includes Charleston and also Savannah, Georgia. And the good news for Florida, though, again, is the worst of the winds are going to stay offshore. The worst of the rain is going to stay offshore, but certainly tropical storm force winds will be felt from West Palm Beach north into Jacksonville over the next 24 hours or so.